Here we're going to be looking at a partnership liquidation where the partnership's terminating its business and distributing its assets here. And we're going to be using the marshalling of assets doctrine here. And we're going to be looking at how we we be using that here. So uh, the marshalling of assets here is applied when a partnership and or one of the partners here is insolvent here. So for our example here, we're in this case, we're going to have solvent partners, but we're going to have an insolvent partnership here. So what do we look at? Uh, look mean by solvent partners here. So looking at partner A and partner B here. Uh, partner A has assets of $20,000 here and liabilities of $12,000. So they're solvent. They have greater assets than liabilities here. And same for partner B here. They have assets of $16,000 and liabilities of $14,000. So they're solvent here because they have more assets than the liabilities. But when we move over to the partnership here, they, a partnership has assets of $46,000 but liabilities here of $50,000. So they're insolvent because their liabilities are greater than their assets here. So the first thing we have to do with this marshalling of uh, assets, we have to look at uh, number one, the partnership's assets here first available to payment of partnership debts. That's the first thing we have to do here. So we take the uh, partnership assets here, $46,000, and then we would be subtracting what we, what's available here from the assets against the liabilities or the partnership debt here. And so they have debt of $50,000, but they only have assets of $46,000. So we would reduce our assets here by subtracting out the $46,000. So they have a zero balance here. And then the liabilities, we could reduce those by the amount of assets that the partnership has here is 46000 and they, that would leave them still a balance here in liabilities that the partnership owes of $4,000. And this is what we're going to be looking at here and how we can elim uh, distribute or eliminate this liability here in the, for the partnership here. So next let's go over to our uh, partner A and partner B here. So uh, this is how we handle that. Number two here for this marshalling of assets here, the personal assets of the partner are applied against personal debts ranked in order of priority here where a the amount first would go to the amounts owed to the personal creditors b secondly amounts owed to the partnership creditors and c amounts owed to the partnership by way of contribution here in their capital account so if the amounts owed to the partnership based on a debit capital balance they would have to be paying that off here as a third ranking here now let's go down here and look at partner A here again. So they had liabilities of $12,000, assets of 20, so you just subtract the liabilities from the assets here and you get a net amount here. They have $8,000 balance in their asset account here. And for partner B here, they have assets of 16,000 and liabilities of 14,000, subtract those out and they end up with a net balance in their asset account here of $2,000. So the next thing we have to do is we have to look at this payment to the debt cap balance here. So let's look at uh, uh, partner B here. They have a capital account here of $5,000 that has a debit balance here. And what we're going to be doing here is with the assets they have remaining here, we're going to pay down this debt capital balance here for partner B here. So let's go up and look at our arrangement here. Now the personal assets that a partner are applied and then it comes in this order here where the amounts owed to the partnership by way of this contribution here to their debt uh, in their capital balance here for partner B here. So this is going to be a little twist on what we're doing here. We're actually skipping over here from the A to the uh, C amount here for this uh, partner here where we're going to indirectly we're going to be paying um, by par the partner is going to be paying down their uh, credit balance here in their capital account and it's going to help out uh, the amounts owed to the partnership credits creditors here. So let's go down and look at this here. Um, $2,000 remaining in their assets so we would subtract that out here and we'd be paying down the capital account here by partner B for $2,000. By doing that here, by paying down this capital account here by $2,000, it actually increases the assets of the partnership here uh, by $2,000. So they had zero assets here, now they're up to $2,000 worth of assets by partner B paying down his capital account here. So moving over here, partner B here, their capital account here would, uh, we would, could reduce the deficit are $5,000 by the $2,000 worth of assets they have. So their net uh, capital balance here is still going to be a negative $3,000 here. 
and that we're showing over here. Even by paying down that, we still have $3,000 here in Partner B's capital account here. But this uh, amount here for the assets that are increased in the partnership is going to be one of the keys here to paying down the partnership debt here. Now the next thing we have to look at here is the payment to partnership creditors here. Now oh, before we go on to that I want to make a point here. Now uh, with this item here on payment to debt to capital balance here. If the payment toward the debt capital balance had preceded partner B's payment of the personal liabilities, a proper marshalling of assets would have not been achieved and partner B's personal creditors would not have been satisfied. So let's look at it here. Um, partner B has assets of $16,000 but they have a part our capital deficit here of $5,000 so had that $5,000 deficit been paid down here they'd only have $11,000 worth of assets and that's all they could pay off to their for their liabilities their personal liabilities here so just going up here they had the assets of $16,000 had they paid off the $5,000 capital balance that would only left them with $11,000 worth of assets up here and they had $14,000 worth of debt so they couldn't pay off their personal assets here so now let's go on to part uh, part D or the payment to the partnership creditors here and that goes goes up to our uh, marshalling of assets distribution here and that would be for uh, item B here the amount sold to the partnership creditors and how we handle that here so what we do in this case here uh, the unsatisfied partnership creditors may claim the net personal assets of any solvent partner regardless of the amount of the partner's interest in the capital of the partnership so partner A capped uh, we're going to look at it here where they're going to in be increased by the payment of the partnership liabilities here so let's go over here and look at uh, we have partnership liabilities here of four thousand dollars and then we made uh, partner B made this payment against their capital balance and it actually increased the partnership assets here by two thousand dollars now because of that they're going to be able to apply two thousand dollars worth of those assets to the partnership liability here of four thousand dollars so we're going to be able to pay four thousand at that down by two thousand here so we're going to have two thousand dollars worth of partnership liability remaining here so uh, what they can go the partnership liability or the what's owed to the partnership creditors they can go after the assets here of the partner a here because they have assets remaining here so they're going to take this balance that's owed here of four four thousand dollars to them and they're going to get two thousand dollars here from partner a here so partner a is going to have their going to have their capital account actually increased by two thousand dollars because they're going to pay the partnership creditors two thousand dollars from their capital account here so their capital partner A's capital account they had one thousand in it now they're going to have pay off two thousand dollars here so they're going to have three thousand dollars in their capital account here so let's just go look at this uh, capital account here uh, or partner A's asset account here so it's going to be reduced here by two thousand dollars of the payments they're going to make to the partnership creditors that's going to give them a balance here of six thousand dollars in there as their assets so let's go over and look at how this two thousand dollars is affected here it uh, actually by paying down the two thousand dollars here they're going to get um, their capital balance is going to be increased here by two thousand dollars but it's also this two thousand dollars here is going to be applied against the partnership liabilities here so we have two thousand dollars here that we got from uh, partner B by paying down his capital account plus the two thousand dollars here from partner A from their assets uh, that amount is going to equal four thousand dollars here so we're going to be able to pay the partnership liability off here of uh, four thousand dollars so the two thousand coming from uh, partner B's pay down of their capital account and then 2000 coming directly from partner A's asset account so we've taken care of the partnership liability here 4000 uh, subtracting out here we've we've canceled that out here to a zero balance so looking at uh, what we have remaining here we have balances of six thousand dollars in the partner A's asset account here and then uh, we got zero balances here for partner B and for the liabilities of partner A and also our asset uh, 
assets and liabilities for the partnership here at our zero amounts here. But partner A here has a capital balance of $3,000 and then partner B has a negative capital balance here of $3,000. So that's what we're going to be looking at here. So uh, looking at uh, E here is minus $3,000 here for uh, partner B's capital account. Now, if partner B later play, pays the debt capital balance, the funds would be distributed to partner A. However, for if partner B cannot pay, this loss will be realized by partner A here. So going back to this, our capital accounts here for partner A and partner B here. So if part, uh, partner B cannot pay off this $3,000 here, uh, capital A would have, it would have to pay the $3,000 and that would reduce their uh, capital A's uh, capital account here down to zero here. So that is an example here of how we take care of uh, using this marshalling of assets here where we have a solvent partners and an insolvent partnership here.